any decent angler knows those secret spots in Moreton Bay that will almost guarantee a bumper catch. And do you know what? So do I. But I don't need a rod, bait or even a boat. Just one of these. The Moreton Bay Food Trail is a digital treasure map that highlights some of the Bay's finest foodie options. And it's no surprise that the region serves up exceptional seafood experiences. First stop on my trawler to plate trail is the suburb of Scarborough on the Redcliffe Peninsula. Tempest is perched right on the water and has something for every seafood lover, including teppanyaki. Yes. Or their most popular dish, the Scarborough seafood platter. This is absolutely gorgeous. What have we got on this platter? Well, we got king prawns caught off our trawlers. Calamari, flathead fillets, mussels, seafood chowder, oysters, Moreton Bay bugs. Bugs look fantastic. Smoked salmon. It sounds very cliched, but it actually doesn't get fresher than this. Hey Zach, what have you got today, buddy? I got your fresh U turn prawns, cooked kinkies. Lovely, last time they were awesome. These look good. It's got my name on it, garlic prawn. <laughs> I'm gonna get a Moreton Bay bug. Looks amazing. Fingers and all. Oh, that's so good. The Golden Ox is another icon on the peninsula. The restaurant has been in the Gemus family for over 40 years. And although the menu has changed over time, a few favourites have remained, like Bugs Galliano. It's just a beautiful dish. Obviously, local bugs, which, you know, can't be beaten, you know. The greatest seafood in the world is from Morton Bay. It's right on the doorstep. So, yeah, the magic region, obviously, you know, clean water. Um, we're so lucky to be, you know, living here and eating this wonderful seafood. What's the key to the success of the Gold Knox? We love food, and just a passion for food, and we love people, obviously. We love being around people, meeting new people, and um, looking after people. It's pretty good. Yeah. Nine out of ten. I'd give you a 10, but, you know, <laughs> perfection. That was beautiful. Oh, Thank lovely. You. Last stop on my day of seafood indulgence lies further north at the edge of Pummerstone Passage. Sandstone Point Hotel sparkles by the bay, an ideal venue for big functions and events. But it's this little seaside shack that's worthy of attention. The oyster shed is awash with perfectly prepared seafood, and as the name would suggest, if you're an oyster lover, this place is for you. Oysters have been harvested from the passage since the 1870s. James Clark ran Australia's biggest oyster farm here in the 1900s. They called him the Oyster King, and he supplied markets as far away as Perth. And so the story goes that sometimes pearls were plucked from the oyster shells too. Just checking. Sandstone Point celebrates its annual Oyster Festival on Saturday 19th of October, a pearler of a day for the whole family. Throughout August and September, the Tastes of Moreton Bay Festival will be celebrating the region's amazing local produce from land and sea. And of course, you can download the Moreton Bay Food Trail Map, which will point you to the region's finest at any time of year.